Hello my beautiful grade 2, so today's science lesson uh, actually we have a new unit which is unit 9 lesson 1 so our lesson is what is matter? what is matter? basically we took this in grade 1, I hope that you memorize, like you remember it and we memorized this definition which is matter is anything that takes up space or any object is a matter if you remember that so now we're gonna just study a little bit more about it so to refresh your mind matter is anything that takes up space and has mass okay what does that matter is anything in this world that takes space and it has a mass we can measure it what is mass is the amount of matter in an object okay so we said this book is a matter this pencil is a matter the air that we breathe is a matter because the air also it takes up space actually even though we can't see it yeah and it has a mass as well so it is a matter okay interesting now they said matter has properties we already know that what is a property do you remember a property is one a property is one part of what something is like some properties are so color shape size and texture are properties what are properties it means color shape size and texture and of course there are lots more now here they said or we have look at the object in each row draw something that has the same property what's the property here which is the color so you're gonna draw something with a red uh, sorry with a green color and draw anything for example i will draw a book our grade one science book it was green so you can write science and just color it with a green color if you wish or you can do anything that you like the shape so here we will draw the same shape just try to draw kind of the same I hope it's okay <laughs> okay so here we have the size uh, we're gonna draw something that has the same size I will draw a ball kind of the same size okay fine the texture you're gonna just draw something that's um, made of plastic let's say that feels like the ball and the this um i would draw let me think about it i would like to see what you're gonna draw by the way i will draw a plastic container <laughs> okay i believe it's gonna feel something similar kind of <laughs> okay so those are mine please try to draw yours move on to the next page they said state of the art solid liquid and gas are three states of matter so what is matter we said it's anything that takes up space and has mass uh, any matter should have should be solid liquid or gas okay it's even solid or liquid or gas we're gonna start now with what is solid a solid is only state of matter that has its own shape so the only one the only state of matter because we have three states we said solid and liquid and gas the only state that has its own shape is solid you can measure the mass of a solid so we can measure how heavy or light it is and what other solids do you see in the picture let's see here what we can see in the picture so we have the umbrella like um, we have this beautiful chair um, this beautiful hat let's say and then they ask you to draw a solid object that you would take with you to the beach okay um what you can take with you to the beach a solid object um, i would take with me a ball to play how oh, i'm gonna draw a ball so it's gonna be something like this okay <laughs> now we have liquid what is a liquid remember a solid is then we talked about it we're gonna move to the liquid a liquid is a state of matter that takes the shape of its container what does it mean it means i have a cup over here 
okay this cup over here is solid it already has its own shape and i can measure its mass and i know how much does it weight but if i will bring a liquid and just put for example water or juice or anything inside of it i can't say that the liquid doesn't have any shape because it's gonna take um the shape of this container which is the cup if i will put the pick the, the the liquid over here let's say water it's gonna be it's gonna have the same shape of this cup but if i if i will bring for example um this water bottle so it's shape gonna change and it's gonna take this shape if i will bring anything else for example this recipient over here it's gonna take its recipient as you can see that the liquid as they said over here takes the shape of its container the container is anything that we're gonna put the liquid in now also you can measure the volume of a liquid so for the liquid actually we can measure its volume what is the volume the volume is the amount of space that a matter takes you should really know this that this is the volume of this um juice over here this one this one so the volume is the amount of space that the matter takes which is inside our container okay good job great to move on to gas what is a gas a guide our container okay good job great to move on to gas what is a gas a gas is a state of matter that fills all the space in its container the air will keep spreading out until it fills the entire beach balloon over here so actually if you keep on uh, this balloon for example is full inside how yes it's full of gas because gas it's actually a state of matter that spreads all around so all the inside is full of air so air is a gas okay you can't see air but you can see and feel what it does okay super move on here to water we're gonna talk about water and how it could be liquid how it could be gas as well as solid just think about it how liquid could have like three different states and it could change yes it could for example you have your water you're gonna put it on a on a recipient let's say and you're gonna boil it this water you're gonna keep on boiling and then we're gonna have a water vapor this water vapor is a gas so we have from liquid to a gas now this water vapor this water again you can put it for example in your uh, freezer it's gonna freeze and it's gonna become ice ice is water but it's solid okay so we have three states of water it could be ice it could be the normal water or it could be water vapor okay the ice is solid what's the shape of the ice actually it has its own shape if um any shape that i don't know it differs on your container but actually the the ice has its own shape because it's a liquid so we're gonna say the shape we're gonna say has its own shape it could differ but it's gonna stay stable kind of the water over here is it what is its state super liquid the normal water that we drink yeah so it's liquid and they said the shape of it it takes the shape of its container last but not least the water vapor they said that the state is gas and they said that the shape fills up all the space in the container because we said that the vapor or, or the gas takes um and fills the whole container like in the balloon the beach balloon 
example. I hope that you understood all those. And then we have here our exercises. So draw lines to match each object of uh, with its taste of matter. So this is super easy. Please try to turn off the video, solve it by your own, then come back and try to correct for yourself. I believe that here we have our beautiful lemonade, which is a liquid. And here we have our solid, which is the sand inside. And here we have our gas that fills all the container. Super. What are the three states of water? We know water could be ice. Water could be water that we drink. Water could be water vapor. Super. Now here they said, sort by properties. Draw X on the object in each group that does not belong. Okay, so here we have both are small, if you can see. So which one doesn't belong? Amazing, this one is too big. Here we have two red. Which one doesn't belong? Super, the blue one. So we're going to draw an X on it. Like this, we're done with our beautiful lesson. Hope that you enjoyed it and you understood. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.